Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Academy. In this video, we will learn about how to calculate the area of land. I'll just give you a short description before moving on. Uh, suppose that you got a rectangle. So let me just draw it. So this is this shape okay so i'm just trying to draw a rectangle somewhere like this okay so avoid these errors so what do you do to calculate the area of this rectangle you simply suppose if this is length if this is breadth you simply multiply length times breadth that's it okay and the area that you get is the area of this rectangle what if you divided this rectangle into two triangles how using this line so if i divide this rectangle into uh, this triangle and this triangle now uh, what you can do to find the area of this uh, rectangle a i'll just write delta what you can do you can find the area of this triangle a1 and you can find the area of this triangle a2 so a delta will be a1 plus a2 and how you can find this a1 and a2 well here as this is a right angle uh, right angle triangle it's equal to 1 by 2 base into height all right so what i want to say here is that uh, not only in case of a rectangle but in case of other structures as well you can find the area of any structure uh, using this triangulation method all you have to do is you have to uh, draw imaginary triangles in that shape uh, the shape which area you want to find and you can find the area of those triangles and if we add all the areas of all the triangles you will get the total area of that structure so here it's quite easy to find the area of this triangle because it's a right angle triangle uh, what if uh, you know this triangle was not like this and it was something like this so in this situation you need to have uh, three sides of this triangle suppose the length of this side is a and the length of this side is b and length of this side is c and you must have studied if you know the length of the three sides then you can find the area of this triangle so how first you have to find the semi perimeter s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 and after that area of this triangle a is equal to so square root s s minus a s minus b s minus c And in this way you can find the area of this triangle okay so uh, remember this formula uh, you must have studied in your high school or your secondary school and uh, we'll, we will use this formula to calculate the area of our land uh, move on and let me give you an, another example now let us see that uh, suppose we got a uh, land uh, like this suppose this is our straight portion the land is uh, uh, let me just draw arbitrarily it's like this and the front portion is little big okay let us assume that our land is just like this now uh, this is not a regular shape and you cannot you cannot uh, find the area of this uh, portion so what do you do once you uh, go at the site okay so it is not necessary that you apply this idea for the land only Suppose that you are working at any site and you have to find the area of any portion uh, plot of the land over there for you know design purpose. Uh, there also you can use this same concept. So these are not right angles. Okay. Uh, so what you have to do is that uh, you have to measure the distance from this edge to this edge. Suppose this is 20 meters. Now you have to form a triangle here. So how can you do that? So, well, there are different ways. Uh, as our land is pretty much regular so because of these straight lines what you can do you can just simply form two uh, triangles this one and this one so what do you have to do next you have to measure this length and this length suppose it's 25 meters and uh, let us suppose that this is around 30 meters okay so now you got two uh, triangles this is triangle a so i'll say the area a1 this is triangle 2 i'll say the area a2 simply you find the area of these two triangles and you add them up so the area a1 will be equal to uh, okay so first i'll find the semi perimeter so s is equal to 
20 plus 30 plus 25 by 2 this is equal to okay i'll calculate it's 20 plus 30 plus 25 by 2 this is equal to 37.5 5 meter now area a is equal to 37.5 times 37.5 minus 20 37.5 minus 30 and 37.50 minus 25 so this all in the square root and uh, this is equal to now this to root over so 37.50 bracket okay 37.50 minus 20 again bracket 37.50 minus 30 again bracket and again 37.50 minus 25 and I'll close the bracket because I you know by default gave a bracket in the beginning hit enter so it's 248 248 uh, i'll just round it up okay meter is square so this is 248 a1 so now uh, the total area a is equal to a1 plus a2 we find a1 as 248 suppose using the same method what do you have to do so you got uh, this length now you have to measure the length from here to here using the tape or you know if you got a total station that will be fine uh, generally uh, this kind of works you will have the tape so you have to extend your tape from here up to here normally you don't measure the total length from 30 meter from this edge to this edge at once so you have to break uh, your measurements okay so that they are pretty much accurate and uh, you have to make sure that uh, these measurements are in a straight line uh, so suppose that this is uh, this must be a little bit big uh, 32 and suppose that this is uh, uh, around 34 uh, now you can find uh, the area a2 as well using this same uh, principle or this same formula and uh, suppose it comes out to be 200 uh, let's say 300 now the total area will be uh, 548 meter square so this area is uh, quite regular and let us see uh, what you can do if you got a kind of uh, irregular uh, plot So if you got a uh, uh, irregular area a uh, plot uh, let's say you got a uh, land like this and you have to measure this area so in this case you have to break this area into a uh, small uh, triangles so what you can do you can draw triangles like this so let us say that you got a triangle like this so this is uh, you can take almost as a straight and you can take this almost as a straight so the more number of triangles you take uh, more accurate it will be the area and after that you can again take uh, this uh, this uh, you know this triangle here like this okay and again you can take the triangle like this and you can take this big triangle so you, uh, it is not necessary that you concentrate all the measurements over here uh, you can break it down or you can just take uh, you know uh, triangle like this also and after that you can take the triangle like this all you have to do is that you have to make sure that you don't leave any portion of this area and you don't repeat any portion so you can take the triangles again like this right and uh, you can take the triangles like this like this okay so oh, this is not pretty much straight so you can break it like this so you have to make the measurements from uh, here up to here and here up to here so that you get pretty much accurate yeah this is how you do and you can simply break this area into a lot of triangles and finally you can find the area of each triangle uh, you know manual calculation that will be quite tough you can use excel sheet to get the calculations right and uh, so using this method you can find the area of your uh, a1 plus a2 there will be a lot of triangles area of this uh, land all right guys so this is how you find the area of land using the tape i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care